Hey guys, um, alright, so we are going to take some notes on um, a different part of Torque, and it's called, the notes section that you would use, is Torque Equilibrium Equilibrium and Bridges. Torque isn't just for pieces of um, equipment such as like a meter stick just in balance over the center. Torque comes about um, as a useful tool when you have, obviously we've done something like this, but torque also is required if we had a second pivot point to determine what all of the forces are acting on this meter stick. So this is a meter stick or crossbar or if you want to call it a bridge. Um, we need torque in order to truly identify what the force is acting up this way, acting up from that support. Uh, engineers have to use these ideas to anticipate maximum loads, meaning maximum downward forces, so that they can ensure that the supports of the bridges actually can handle the total load, um, especially if a car is at the very, right on top of a support. So if you have another bridge, uh, support one, support two. If a car, try to make a car, um, if a car is right above this support, it needs to basically hold the entire weight of the car, and this support doesn't have to hold any. But when the car is here, it's going to be kind of evenly supported, because the car is no longer there. It's going to be evenly supported between the two, and when the car is here, it has to be basically supported by this main support. But what happens when there's multiple cars, etc.? Um, so the notes today are going to be just sort of a sample problem of showing um, how these supports and how torque is used to determine what the required force is for each of these supports, depending on where a single, we'll call it a payload, where a single payload um, is located on a bridge. So, I'm going to clear this out. The bridge, um, get a drawing. So, we're going to use massless bridges. What I mean by that is that the mass and or weight of the bridge, sorry for the messy handwriting. The mass or weight of the bridge um, doesn't affect the overall torque. It's negligible. We don't worry about it. We forget about it. Um, so we're going to label these two supports. So these are my pivot points. If I remove one, if I remove this one, obviously the bridge would rotate clockwise. If I remove this one, the bridge would rotate counterclockwise. So they're both providing that support that the bridge needs. I'm going to call this, just to classify things a little easier, support A, support B. Alright, let's say that there is a car. Um, I need to lower this bridge a little bit. Let's say that there is a car. So that's, that's sort of the new bridge surface. Um, on a 25 meter long, so this is 20, uh, we'll make the math easy, 20 meters. 20 meter long bridge, and the car is located at the, uh, it looks like about the 8 meter mark. Okay, and we want to find out all the torque so that ultimately we can find out the force that A has to push up with and the force that support B has to push up with. Now this honestly comes out to be much of a, really more than anything, it's a algebra problem. Um, and there's a couple things we want to set up. First of all, we know that the torque around or about pivot point A plus the torque around pivot point B has to all equal zero. So one's going to provide a clockwise torque and torque B will be an alt overall counterclockwise torque. So how do we look at that? How do we figure it out? And we also need to know the weight of the car. Let's say that the weight of the car is 
100 newtons. If that's the case, then I also know, and I'm just sort of setting up some equations of what I know, and we'll start plugging specifics into this. I know that Fa plus Fb, so the force holding up uh, support A, the force from support B pushing up, has to cancel and equal the 100 newtons of the car. Total force up equals total force down. All right, so these are going to be the basis of my two equations. We're combining force and torque together. Well, let's start looking at the torques. For torque A, so that's the torque around this pivot point, I have three forces I need to deal with. And I'm going to have to make the notion that clockwise gives us a positive torque and counterclockwise are negative torques. So when we're adding things together, we're going to have to take that into account. All right, so torque A, the torque around point A. Well, my torque around point A, I have a force acting right there. And that force is Fa. It's acting up. It would be providing a clockwise torque, so it's positive. But the radius, the difference between the pivot point and the force, is zero. So that term actually doesn't matter. The next piece, um, I'm just looking, it's from the car. It's going to be a, and again, clockwise torque, so that's going to be plus. And the radius, the distance from pivot point A to the car, is 8 meters, so 8, times the force, which is 100. There's one other force acting, though, it's FB. And that does have a distance, but if you look at the direction of FB around A, how the bridge, the bridge would tend to rotate up like that, if you have a really strong FB, um, it's going to be a counterclockwise torque, so I'm going to end up subtracting that piece. And the total length is 20 times what I don't know is I don't know the value of FB. Do a very similar thing for the torque around B. B is going to, with FB, it's going to be trying to push it that way, so that's counterclockwise. But again, it's zero, so that doesn't really matter. But it's really a good thing to get in the habit of putting that. Um, the torque from the car around FB, the B support, that's going to make it go counterclockwise. So that is another subtraction. But this distance is an 8. This distance would be the remaining 12 newtons. So that's 12... Uh, sorry, 12 meters, times 100. Around B, up from A, that's going to be plus, because it's clockwise, um, the total distance of 20, because the distance from B to A is 20, and that's what we worry about. And the force acting around is the force due to A. And I realized I said I was going to try to make it 7 minutes. Unfortunately, that's just not going to happen. Um, so I apologize. So these two things go away. All I'm doing is setting up, figuring out what the torques are for A and B. Each one has three, but really you can kind of just say it has two. And now I need to put this one, this one, and this one, those three equations, together. Because I know what torque A is, I know what torque B is, and I want to figure out, overall, I want to find what FA and what FB are. Alright, so... 8 times 100, that's just 800, minus 20FB, all I did was torque A, plus, because my torque B is negative 1200, plus negative 1200, plus 20FA. Okay, so all I did is I'm solving torque A uh, plus torque B equals 0 putting in what I know for torque A and torque B. So this part is torque A, this part is torque B. Alright, I can combine these things. 800 plus negative 1200, there's no variables or anything, so I can just, and all of this, sorry, equals zero. There's no variables, so that's just negative 400. I still have the minus 20FB plus 20FA. All of that equals zero. Alright? Um, simplifying this, I'm going to sort of do it in one step. It's going to be negative 20, FB minus FA 
equals 400. I realize I, I did that kind of in two steps, but if you take a couple seconds and do these steps out, you should be able to find this. And then what that's ultimately going to give me, and I have to switch the negative because I don't want a negative in my final answer, FA minus FB, so really I kind of just distributed the negative. Again, I realize I'm skipping steps, but I know if you take that time, you should be able to find figure out where those steps are coming from. Equals 400 divided by 20 is 20. Right? 400, yeah, 400 divided by 20 is 20. So I know that FA minus FB equals 20, and I also know that FA from up here plus FB equals 100. So I have a nice system of equations that I can solve and figure out what FA are and what FB are. Um, some of you might be able to do this in your head, and this is as difficult as these equations get. There's no two times. There's, it'll always be FA minus FB equals something, and FA plus FB equals something. Um, so the easiest way to solve these system of equations uh, is really pretty straightforward. Um, let me clear this out, and I'm going to rewrite the equation so you can see it. All right, so FA, we had FA minus FB equals 20. And we had FA plus FB equals 100. All right. The simplest way to solve this system is add everything together. I'm just going to add straight across. So FA plus FA is going to give me 2FA. Negative FB plus FB is 0. And 20 plus 100 equals 120. It's the simplest way to solve this system. And then, obviously, you can see that FA equals 60. So 60 newtons. And then, simple looking at this, we'll say you can look at either equation, doesn't matter. You can find that FB has to equal the remaining 40 newtons. So what I just found, using torque, and the only way to do that is through torque, is that on my bridge, which had A and B, with a hundred newton car at eight meters away from A, A it's closer to A, so A is going to have to push harder. If it, it if it were right here, A would have a hundred and B would have zero, but it's still closer because it's not at the ten meter mark, which is halfway through that bridge. Um, so my FA has to be a little larger, and as it as the car moves across the bridge, B is going to be continually getting larger, always making up that difference where they have to support each other. Um, and FA has to push up with 60 newtons, and FB, in order to, has to take the rest, has to push up with 40 newtons. Um, what I want you to do uh, for me as a homework check is tomorrow, very simple, I want you to write FA plus FB equals 300, and FA minus FB equals 100, and I want you, using the plus, to solve. Solve this for FA and FB. I'm going to check this tomorrow. I will be looking for correct solutions. This is a relatively simple math problem. Um, I want you to figure out what FA and FB are, and that'll be the homework check that I will check first thing with class. All right. Um, again, sorry I went twice as long. I try to do my best, but it's all we can do. So I will see you tomorrow. Thank you.